Now let's look at how to find a maximum or a minimum on a graph. First we need an equation, so let's come over here to y equal, and let's say, let's do 2x squared, so 2x and then carrot 2, plus 3x minus 4. Totally random. All right. So we want a standard window, so let's do a zoom, 6, so we can see the graph. And that's a great graph, we can see everything we need to do. So if you look at this graph, it has a lowest point, and the lowest point would be a minimum point on the graph. To find a minimum, we need to do second trace. And then if you look up here at 3, that says minimum, so we can hit our 3 and then you'll see it says left bound. That means that I need to be on the left hand side of that lowest point. So I arrow over to the left, just get off of the vertex or the bottom of that graph, and then anywhere over there is fine. If you're doing this with me and your numbers don't look quite like mine, as long as you're to the left of that vertex, the lowest point, then you can just press enter. And then it will say right bound, which means we need to go through the vertex back to the other side and anywhere over there. Again, if your numbers don't match mine, it's fine. Just press enter. And then for guess, we always just press enter. And we can now see that the minimum of that point is negative 0.7499. So we'll say negative 0.75 and negative 5.125. Now, what if we had a maximum? Well, if we come back in here to y equal and we clear out our equation and this time let's put in we need a negative and let's say negative um, x squared let's just do x squared this time negative x squared remember the other way to do x squared is if you come hit this x squared key it'll actually give you the exponent of 2 so we'll show you both ways in this example x negative x squared minus 10x plus 8. And then we'll hit our graph. We should still be in a standard window. And we can see the graph. We can see the highest point or the maximum. The vertex is a maximum in this case. So we do the same thing. We do second trace. We want maximum this time, so it's 4. And we're going to do the same thing. Left bound, go to the left, so arrow to the left until you're somewhere over there. Press enter. Right bound, so arrow back through the vertex and to the right hand side anywhere and say press enter. And press enter through the guess. And we find out that that maximum is, to look at that very closely, we see that this is 6.6976, but then it's e to the negative 7. That means that it is a there's six zeros in front of that, so it's very close to zero. We would round it to zero and negative two. Let's try one more just to see if we can find a nice one. So go back to y equal. So we want negative x squared, and I'm going to use the x squared key down here and this time to put the exponent on, of two on there. And then we're going to say minus five x and then plus six. And now we're going to look at our graph. If we hit graph, it should still be a standard window. We can't quite see our vertex, which is a maximum. So we need to go back into window. It's a Y that's a big Y that's not quite big enough. So we can just arrow down there to Y max. Instead of being 10, it was pretty close. So we probably could go to 20 and be all right. So press enter. And then everything else should be fine. So we can go back and look at our graph. And now we can see the vertex in here, and we can do second trace, maximum, which is 4, and do the same thing. Go to the left-hand side of my graph, of my vertex, so I've got to keep going over here. Anywhere over there, as long as it's not on the vertex, press enter. Right bound, we need to go back through the vertex and to the right-hand side, press enter press enter for a guess and we see that it's the maximum or the vertex would be negative 2.5 and 